Hi, my name is Dr. Surekha Tiwari. I'm a homeopathic physician and a psychological counselor. I practice in Bangalore out of two clinics, one in HSR layout, one is in ACS layout. And I've been in this profession for the last 28 years. As much as we all know, the ear has three parts, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The inner ear is where the machinery of hearing is located. So that's where the three bones are, and they're very well protected by the eardrum. Then there is the middle ear, which is the ear canal, in which we all have this itching all the time and we keep on pouring it. And then there's the outer ear, this is the pinna, the structure of the ear outside. When we say ear bleeding, we can have ear bleeding happening from any of them. There could be a boil on the outer ear, which could be cause of the bleed. So to ascertain why ear bleed has happened, you need to ascertain where the blood is coming from. Majority of the cases, the eardrum is very protective and even if there is any scratch on it, it does not bleed. So ear bleeding cases generally will happen from the middle ear or the outer ear. But having said that, if there is still, like any other process of bleeding, the first thing which you have to do is you have to ligate. So you have to press the point of bleeding. So you press your ear and you ensure that the first thing is to control the blood going. Then if you can, then clean up your ear and try and figure out was there a bleed, was there a cut, was there an injury. I've seen so many cases coming to me where they scratch the ear but actually the cut is behind the ear. And because the skin here is very tightly stretched and very thin. In that case also, the first point is to ascertain where is it coming from. And if there is, it is coming from the internal ear, it will give you some of the other symptoms like it can give you a headache, it can give you any kind of a nasal block. It may be due to sinuses where you had an ear block for a very long time and one fine day the drum could not hold it so it came out with pus and blood. To control ear bleeding, ligate and eventually find out the cause and then treat it.